What is something that you have learned in the Philippines that surprised you? Mostly people are open-minded. They always smile at you. They can say hi, whatever. It's you don't don't really know you. I know a lot about uh, the hospitality. A lot, a lot of Filipinos I know, especially in Dubai and abroad in the U.S. And yeah, they're pre they're very cool people. And and the food, I'm not sure about it yet. The island people are very 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 poor, and uh, so happy that it really surprised you. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Alexander. I'm from Russia. What is something that you have learned about the Philippines that surprised you? I was totally surprised that here in the Philippines, uh, people, uh, mostly people, are open-minded. They always smile at you. They can say hi, whatever. It's you don't don't really know you. So yeah, it's it's good. Uh, and this uh, place is much safer than uh, I don't know if compare some. Uh, not third country world mm -hmm. like here in the philippines i feel much safer yeah. yeah what did you know about the philippines before coming here you just mentioned about about safety how safe is the philippines what did you know about the philippines in context of uh, young cultural uh, mm -hmm. cultural like uh, uh, youngest filipino do some good stuff at, at music mm -hmm. i was totally surprised about that because they do really good uh, metal mm -hmm. and uh, hardcore shows as well it's like American style, but they do it uh, like it should be. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like in a Philippine way. What's your name and where are you from? Okay, so my name is Amar. Uh, I'm Algerian American and I live in Dubai. For how long have you been in the Philippines? Uh, three days. Three days? Yeah, yeah. What is something that you have learned in the Philippines that surprised you? Uh, what surprised me, honestly, is that I just came to this area like two days ago and I was surprised how well developed this area, this specific area is. But other than that, I mean, so far I'm still exploring. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes after the next couple of days, you know. Okay. And what did you know about the Philippines before coming here? I knew a lot about uh, the hospitality. A lot, a lot of Filipinos I know, especially in Dubai and abroad in the U.S. And yeah, they're, pretty, they're very cool people. And, and the food, I'm not sure about it yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to still explore the food, but we'll see how it goes from there, you know. Okay. And are you planning to go to any island beside Manila? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm definitely going to go to different islands. I'm probably going to go to Palawan or Boracay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm excited to see how it is over there. Okay. When it comes to, I mean, cost of traveling, how expensive is the Philippines? To be honest with you, it's it's reasonable. It's not that expensive at all, actually. I'm staying at the hotel where it's like one of the five-star hotels in uh, Manila. It's pretty good price for it, like what they offer. So I'm I'm pretty impressed. I like it a lot, you know. And the pricing is not that bad at all. Yeah. Okay. okay. And from your own experience, what advice would you give to other foreigners that are planning to come to the Philippines? Because, like an example. We know how people, they say that the Philippines is not that safe, yeah. but from your own experience, you have been here for like three days now. Can you like give us an idea how safe is the Philippines for you? Um, it's funny because you said that like, well, I had some friends that actually told me to be careful on Instagram because I posted some videos. They say, yo, you got to be careful, uh, you know, you just be, be, be cautious. And I'm like, okay, sure, I'll definitely be cautious. Mm -hmm. And as of now, it looks pretty safe. I mean, we'll see how it goes for the next, continue on the journey, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. And for how, I mean, for how long are you planning to stay here? Uh, hopefully maybe another week to 10 days mm -hmm. so and then after that I go maybe to Taiwan and other places in uh, Asia okay yeah. and just before we go can you please describe your experience in the Philippines in one word uh, unique unique thank you so much no brother problem, and have a great time here in the Philippines yeah, brother you too, man. thank you, you so much man I appreciate thank it man you. beside Manila are you going to any island uh, yes I was in uh, Bohol Cebu uh, Palawan and Corona as well. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, can you rate your experience on those islands? Uh, I can say like 9 for the Palawan mm -hmm. and uh, 8 for Boracay okay. and other islands like in the middle, maybe 6, 7. There are many th things to do, like you can just go to the street and you can walk uh, near beauty places. Mm -hmm. You also can uh, find there uh, good uh, restaurants with cheap prices and good food. And also there are many beaches when you can swim with sand. Uh. And lastly, what advice, I mean, I know it's raining, we, oh guys, it's raining, we need to go. What advice would you give to other foreigners that they wish to come to the Philippines and have the same experience as you? Mm, I think you guys have to try Shargal. I did not 
I wasn't there, but anyone recommend this yeah. place? Shargal, Palawan, and uh, do much more experience in islands uh, near their, uh, cities. But it depends on uh, what you prefer to do. Like, yeah. And BGC as well, this is a great place. <laughs> okay, guys, it's ready right now. We gotta move, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate it for your time and have a great time in the Philippines, brother. Thank you so much. What's your name and where are you from? Omer from Israel. Shakir from Israel too. What is something that you have learned in the Philippines that have surprised you? Mostly uh, when the island people are very, 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 very poor and uh, so happy that it really surprised you because. They don't have the city like, I don't know, they hold the lights mm -hmm. and cars and, and things. They are riding in motorcycle that uh, you think it's going to, I don't know, explode <laughs> yeah, yeah. or you're going to crush. But the people are very happy and uh, nice kindness. and kindness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. They, they like. They even not uh, come out from the, the island they, they live in. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. He told me he's so poor that he doesn't he doesn't like live. So so like all in all, you guys were surprised on how happy people were, yeah. even with the little that they have, but they were still able like to smile and stuff like that. Uh, just lastly, describe your Philippines experience in one word, just one word. Your Philippines experience. Uh, well, I don't know in one word. Yeah, just one word. Happiness. I don't Happiness. know. Happiness. Yeah. Uh, wild. Wild. Thank you so much and I appreciate it for time, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you're here for the first time, once again, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And drop a like, drop a comment as well. On that way, YouTube will push the video and the channel to more people. Thank you so much for subscribing and see you guys on the next episode. And if there is a specific topic that you want to see on this amazing channel, please let me know on the comments. I'm gone. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. We're called Unblocked. I'm here with Calvin, Louise, and Tanez. My name is Sujin Kim. For those of you who don't know, I am a news reporter here in the Philippines and I also work as a professional model and I also have a radio show in the morning every weekdays. Hi. Wow. 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 What? What don't you do? <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how we started the wow. podcast. <laughs> Hello po sa mga nanonood sa podcast natin ngayon, sa mga nakikinig dito sa Unblocked Podcast. Sana po ay patuloy kayong manood sa kanila tapos makapulot ng mga magagandang aral. Sana lagi kayong tumatawa and if may problema kayo kahit saan, family, relationship, kahit ano, I hope you know to just hold on, to just keep going because it gets better and life might be hard but you're tough and you can do it and whatever challenge is in your plate right now, um, share it with other people because you don't have to go through things alone talaga. Lagi kang may kasama at lagi lang magtiwala na kayang-kaya mo yan. Ayun lang. Wow. Thank you so much.